Good evening and welcome to Experience Bar, where we're turning video games into cocktails. My name is Jack and I'll be your bartender this evening as I show you how to make the only drink that even the corporates can't monetize. Concentrated distillate from the outer worlds. Let's get started. So, guys, I've got a little bit of a confession to make to you. I actually haven't played The Outer Worlds yet. I know, I know, I shouldn't be making a drink from a game that I haven't played, but I had a fan write in and ask for this recipe to be made specifically. And who am I to say no? So the original recipe for this, uh, in the game at least, is very large. It, it makes, I think, 10 liters of the stuff. So for the purposes of this one, we've scaled it back a little bit, uh, making a more reasonable two to three person amount. In a departure from the usual tradition, we're gonna be starting this off with a saucepan filled with nothing, okay? Filled with air, no ice in this bad boy because we are going to be heating this drink first. To this, you are going to need to add 80 mils of apple juice, that is filtered apple juice, 80 mils of American style apple cider. Now here in New Zealand, cider means alcoholic, you know, that the alcoholic drink, hard apple cider, but this is an American game. So I'm assuming when they say apple cider, what they mean is the unfiltered apple juice that is apple cider in the US. The original recipe actually says it needs to be spiced apple cider, but we can't get that in New Zealand and we're actually gonna be spicing this drink later anyway, so it seems a little bit redundant. 80 mils of spiced apple cider. Next, we have got around about a teaspoon's worth of both brown and white sugar. If you wanna get really technical, you need to be adding about, I believe it's 7.5 milliliters according to the recipe. Uh, of each of those. So about half an ounce of extra sugar to this. And finally, uh, a bit of cinnamon. If you've got cinnamon sticks, use a cinnamon stick, just the one. Um, I've got ground cinnamon here, so I'm gonna be using like, I don't know, about half a teaspoon's worth of it. Just chuck that on in there. And at this point, we need to heat up this bad boy and get the, let those flavors get to know each other, as Binging with Babish might say. So through the power of movie magic, let's heat it. So. What we've done with this is we've uh, brought it to the boil, taken it off the heat and let it simmer for 10 minutes. And then that lets the cinnamon infuse through out. We've also then let it cool because you do not want to be adding a hot liquid to ice, which is the next step because we're gonna be adding the alcohol. I am taking a little bit of creative license with the official recipe because at no point does this say to add ice, but I don't want a lukewarm drink. So we are going to be pouring this in here. And this is also the point at which we're adding our alcohols to make this a cocktail. First of all, we're gonna be adding 20 milliliters of whipped cream vodka. If you can't find whipped cream vodka, you can probably just use vanilla vodka. They taste pretty similar. 20 mils of that. And the real stuff that gives this drink its name, concentrated distillate, is the 95% uh, proof alcohol. Now, if you're in the US, you can probably get this uh, as, uh, what's the name? Everclear, yeah, that's it. Everclear does 95% stuff, pretty sure. Uh, not that you can get it here in New Zealand, but do you know what you can do here in New Zealand? You can distill your own spirits at home, which is exactly what I've done with this. That's why it's in this cute little funky bottle. Um, this gets, this is around about 75% because my still doesn't go up to 95. That's kind of laboratory-ish levels. And yeah, I'm not messing around with that. But 70, 75 is close enough. It's still gonna burn your nostrils every time you sniff it. And that's how you measure the quality of a spirit in my eyes. 15 mils of that, very small amount. Now our shaker is pretty full at this point. So be careful when you stir it that you don't spill it. And we're gonna just strain this on into our jug over here and pouring it into our vessel. Now, let me tell you guys, I've been waiting for an excuse to use this particular glass for a really long time. So a drink called concentrated distillate wouldn't, it wouldn't do to have it in anything other than a scientific glass. If you're wondering about this garnish, this is literally just an apple peel. You just peel it like you would an orange with a peeler uh, and you roll it up. Stick it on some string on a skewer like that. And I thought this would be appropriate one. We've got a lot of apple juice in here. So your garnish usually reflects 
uh, whatever is in your glass, so your drinker knows what to expect. Um, and also, I believe, I believe, and Duncan, remember to cut this if I check this later and I find out it's wrong, I believe the place that this recipe is originally found is in a distillery in a place called Roseway. So a rose apple feels right, you know. So we're going to strain that on in here. And there you have it the concentrated distillate. And as always, thank you to our patrons and other supporters who help make these drinks happen. Cheers. So this recipe, uh, the concentrated distillate, is found in a secret distillery, I've been told, um, where you, can, you find it on a blackboard. And I'm gonna tell you something, guys. This is a really damn big drink. Um, see, like I mentioned at the start, we're making a smaller version of this drink. The original has gallons, literal gallons, of apple juice and apple cider and cinnamon. And while I like making drinks from games, I'm not about to trust a random cocktail recipe written on a blackboard to the point where I'm gonna go and buy 95% ethanol, or make, in my case, 95% ethanol, and buy whipped cream vodka, just on the off chance it's gonna be really bad, and I've wasted a bunch of money. But that um, lack of confidence was not warranted, because this is actually pretty damn good. It's really sweet. It's really, really sweet. I don't think it needs the extra sugar in there, because apple juice and apple cider by themselves very sweet drinks. You combine that with the whipped cream vodka, which is in itself probably got quite a lot of sugar in it. You end up with a real sugar bomb of a drink. I get the feeling um, that this recipe is actually one of the developers or the writers' uh, punch recipes. Apple, cinnamon, bit of a whipped cream. It's kind of like an apple pie in a drink. But yeah, um, I'm really hoping that when I do finally get around to playing <laughs> Outer Worlds, my experiences will be just as sweet as this cocktail is. And judging from the review so far, it won't be far off. But that's it. That's it from us. Thank you so much for joining me. I've been Jack Stone. This has been Experience Bar, and that is the concentrated distillate from the Outer Worlds. Uh, if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, if there's any particular drink that you'd like to see made or a game that you'd see like to see a cocktail made for. As you can tell, we do read them and we do make them. We've also got the usual Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and a subreddit and a Discord. So come and log in and hang out with the community and us if you feel like it. If you want to see this show keep going, please consider heading over to our Patreon where we've got some pretty cool extra goodies for patrons that subscribe. And remember, we're producing new content every two weeks. So I hope to see you then, but until then, Cheers.